Welcome back everybody. In this one we're doing a deep dive into the Mars 2020 mission. We'll be having a brief look at some of the anomalies I discovered in photographs taken by Perseverance rover on Sol 3 and we'll make use of Google Earth Mars and high view to determine the distances involved and the sizes of anomalies. Photographs taken by the rovers typically don't have any scale indicators so it's rather difficult to determine how far anomalies are from the rovers and how big the anomalies are. So let's get cracking on. Just briefly we'll be looking at the anomalies I discovered in photographs taken by the rover on Sol 3 and as always I'll include the links in the description below. So the first anomaly right there folks strange looks like a type of a tombstone shaped object maybe even a seat who knows with the armrest over there on the side it's got a rather strange shape to it seems to be next to a block on the front side of yeah don't know what to make of that one folks and we're looking at layered objects in the background there and I estimate this is about 160 meters from the rover. Close up look, we can see two rectangular objects on top of one another. This one runs across diagonally and bright objects there on the top. And we're looking at that strange rectangular part right there at the back, folks. And originally I thought it was part of this ridge line closest to the rover but actually it's way at the back there it was originally part of the delta and it looks like water eroded the delta and left this strange sort of structured item there in the background about two to two and a half kilometers from the rover that block or rectangular part there is about 60 70 meters long. There we can see it's got a rather flat smooth surface to it then it's got this flat top and then it's got this overhang on the left. We'll have a look at that one in the high-rise photograph. So looking at the Perseverance rover landing site I found this high-rise photograph called a depositor fan acquired on the 29th of January 2007 high res of 28.1 centimeters per pixel and we're looking at the JP2 black and white map projected file in this video there's a quick look at the low res black and white and the rover landed over there folks We'll check that out in the higher resolution photograph right there. So there's the JP2 and we're looking at the delta over here on the left. The landing site is located over here in the bottom right of this photograph folks. So let's zoom in on that. Let's go out a bit. and the landing site is right there I've tried to pinpoint it to an accurate location and it's over here folks so you can see a very low contrast photograph and that's what we deal with typically when we analyze these things so let's go for a bit more contrast and we're looking at the site over there. Right, so if we use the distance tool, we can determine how far this ridge is from the rover, and that's about 460 pixels. Let's use the calculator, 460 times the scale at which this photograph was taken, 28.1 centimeters per pixel so 0.281 comes to about 130 
meters or so flux. So if we look at the 360 degree panorama that NASA released, you can see the ridge line over here. Let's go big screen. So yes, the rover, and there's that ridge line running through there. So this is about 130 to 160 meters away. So we're typically in this photograph looking at this ridge line over here. I was also under the impression that the rectangular structured item was over here to the northwest. But on closer investigation, I located it right there to the west of the landing site right so let's see how far from the landing site the structured item is so we're looking at about 9300 pixels 9300 times the image scale of 28.1 centimeters per pixel makes it roughly 2.6 kilometers to the west of the Perseverance rover. So let's zoom in on that strange structure. Go actual size. Just want to reset the color. There we go. So this is the flat rectangular part of this structured item that we see in the 360 panorama. And this is about 190 pixels in length. 190, 190 multiplied by the scale. It's about 53 over there. And about 92 across there. So if we look at it from the rover's perspective, we're seeing the flat rectangular side there, the flat top, and the part that is sticking over the edge. So let's see how far the edge of the delta is from the rover. We've got about 8,300 pixels. times the photograph scale comes to about two kilometers folks then if we go to Google Earth Mars I've indicated the landing site there this is from the CTX mosaic the rover will travel down this path up towards the Delta along the side through that area there and then up to Jezra Crater's edge to the west. So let's have a look at that. That photograph we looked at in the mosaic with that butte is roughly northwest. So we're looking at this angle over here. Now if we use the distance tool from the rover to that first ridge it's about 140 meters and then from the rover to the edge of the delta is about two kilometers so in future when we look at these photographs from the rover we can at least judge the distances landing site right there we're looking at a northwesterly direction towards the edge of the delta which is up there
So there's a massive dune field that the rover is going to have to travel through to get to the edge of the delta. There's some of the sort of canals, if we could call them that, that I discovered a while ago. So the distance between these canals or trenches, let's see, we've got about 430 pixels times the image scale, about 120 meters between these canals or trenches, folks. Check them out. If these are cracks, from dried mud like we'd find here on earth surely these cracks, trenches or canals will be a lot closer together look at those vast distances over a hundred meters between these and then these are about five meters wide and check that out the intersection points are always very smooth and clean, devoid of any rocks. And it looks like something scraped the material out and deposited the material on the sides of these trenches. So let's go up to the delta and there's the edge, folks. Zoom out a bit. So the rover is going to travel up here, yeah? roughly past this area. Goes up there, and then comes down north along here. Yeah? past this point and then goes up towards the western edge of the crater and that's it for this deep dive into the Mars 2020 mission I hope you find it informative and useful maybe in the near future when we look at more anomalies we can judge distances and sizes of things so thanks again for watching I do appreciate your viewership and your support. To my new subscribers, welcome on board. Take care everybody, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.